Hi team, today we're going to be talking about intelligence. These are some standard questions that we use. This is actually a subject area. And this is my uh, packet that I use for our competition boards, uh, which are a little bit different from our promotion boards. In my battalion, we have uh, two different MOIs. And so I have a series of set of questions on all of these subject areas. If you look for and search PDF on the channel, you can find a free link to, to, to download this if you're looking for them. Um, and so we're going to run through these questions. Uh, and this is actually what I take to the board. I don't always ask these questions. Sometimes I may ask a different question, but I at least have the basis and the foundation. Uh, most of the time in our boards, we're asking situational questions. These are not written as situational questions, so I'm going to read them as they are, just standard questions. I'm going to give you a few, a few tidbits and, and tricks along the way, and at the end, I will ask you a few situational questions. So uh, question number one, right? What are hazards? Oh, and by the way, I, I, you notice, like that first question, what are hazards? You notice that you do not see what is the regulation that covers intelligence, right? I don't ask that question. But you need to know that because not only can you sprinkle that into your answer and, and to add a little bit of flavoring, right? It's a little paprika into your answer. But you also extend how much time that you're talking if you do that, then we're not asking you questions, which means that we're not talking, and that means you have a gooder day. So hazards, of course, are conditions, uh, could be natural phenomenon, able to damage life or destroy life, vital resources and institutions, or prevent mission accomplishment. Right? You can put that into your own words. That's oh, absolutely. So what are hazards? You know, first sergeant hazards are those conditions that we can face that can prevent us from accomplishing our mission and or, you know, even hurt ourselves or our equipment. Think about your risk management process, right, about doing up a draw, right? What we're talking about there is hazards, right? So what is intelligence? Right, this is one, uh, and I'm going to do this for a few of these. So intelligence has a long answer that's straight cut and paste from uh, the regulation. So intelligence is the product resulting from the collection, processing, integration, evaluation, analysis, and interpretation of available information concerning foreign nationals, uh, hostile or potentially hostile forces or elements, right? So um, intelligence is the pro it, my fault you're bad intelligence is the process of taking information that we've collected all the data and turning it into usable information that we need in order to accomplish our mission what is intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance or it could be asked what is isr this is another one that has a, has a long long statement so it's ISR synchronizes and integrates the planning and operation of sensors, assets, and processing, exploitation, and dis dissemination systems in direct support of current and future operations, or co-ops and foo-ops, right? So, um, you know, we're talking about ISR, right? What we're talking about is essentially... Um, the most common form is going to be drone feeds, right? You got a shadow going up overhead. You like uh, maybe you, you've seen the video footage uh, on, on television. Maybe you've been in the box and you've been controlling uh, a drone, or maybe you've been a jock in, in a jock uh, or a talk downrange, and you've seen these feeds. You know what we're looking at here. That's the most common uh, understood ISR. So you could describe ISR as being that system of information that supports our current operations. Because when we have ISR out there, the next thing that's coming is a strike. What does the intelligence warfighting function provide commanders? So intelligence is a warfighting function. There are several others. We can get into those in a different uh video but what it does is it helps uh with intelligence to plan prepare execute and assess operations so plan prepare execute and assess plan prepare execute and assess plan prepare execute and assess 
If you can remember those four words, what are they? Plan, prepare, execute, and assess. If you can remember those four words, not only will they help out with this specific question, because it's, it's the right answer, but that is a close enough answer for so many different questions. What to, uh, describe to me the operations process. Well, we plan, prepare, execute, and assess. How does, uh, how does PT fit in to the, to, uh, the big picture? Well, oh, fuck, I don't know. I don't know how to answer that question, but I do know that I plan PT and I, I prepared myself and the training event and my instructors. We went out and we executed it. And now I'm assessing to see what we need to do in the future. And this whole process, this whole loop is going to help uh, my commander be able to take our company down range and kick some ass. I mean, <laughs> that's not where I would go for PT, but you can see like plan, prepare, execute, and assess fits into everything. And that, that operations process, everybody on the board knows it. So if you use those words, you're kind of earning money, even if it's not about operations or, in, in this case, intelligence. What are the two most important, uh, or what are two of the most important aspects of intelligence? And so I don't, I don't even have all of them listed, uh, but the two, the two big ones is your enabling mission command, right? Enabling mission command and providing support to commanders. How do commanders provide guidance and feedback through operations? This is another one, man. We got a big old, we got a big old list here, right? So uh, providing direction, staying clear, stating clear, concise commanders uh, critical. Information requirements or CCRs, synchronizing the intelligence warfighting function, participating in planning, and collaborating with the G2 and S2 during the execution of operations. So, how, again, how do commanders provide guidance and feedback through um, operations? How do the how does the boss talk? So the the boss talks by saying, you know, here's my you, you, and if you didn't know how to answer this question, think about what your boss does, right? Your boss issues policy letters, right? It says, here's what I need you to do. But then you also have uh, reporting requirements, right? Maybe uh, it, it's in relationship to a, a tasking order. Maybe it's in relationship to an, a, something that's administrative. Maybe you think it, maybe you've been in a, a training meeting or an admin meeting, or maybe it's, you've been in a command and staff, and you see the things that the commander wants to hear. So these are all these are ways. These reporting requirements are probably the most common way that we all know collectively of how the commander is receiving information in order to help their subordinate commanders achieve success. And ultimately, that's what, why they're giving feedback, is because they need to know where, they're, where risk needs to be assumed, right? Or where resources need to be allocated. Those two things, right? Risks and resources. You can't accept risk. I can't accept risk, right? My commander can accept risk. I can't. But my commander can only accept so much risk before he needs to ask for, for that approval to accept risk. And he also can't force, my company commander cannot force another company to give us something. But our boss, the battalion commander, can. So risk and resources, right? What does the uh, intelligence warfighting function allow commanders to understand? The sound, when I'm going to tell you the answer, it sounds almost like a trick question, um, but it, it allows you to understand the mission, the enemy, the train, the troops, the times, and the civil considerations. Right for the purpose of intelligence, the war, the term enemy includes what? 
So as it relates to intel, it's the entire range of threats, right? So it could be an enemy combatant, uh, it could be a non-combatant, it, every the entire range of threats. And what does terrain include? Uh, for the purpose of intelligence, the terrain also includes what? Terrain and weather, right? Terrain and weather. So those are all my standard questions straight from the regulation. Um, and odds are, you know, to come up with a... Uh, a situational question, it may be something so, so along the lines of, man, you're in a jock and you see this video on the feed. Describe to me what it is that you're looking at. And now I would expect somebody to start talking about the ISR feed, right? Or uh, you're in a brief and the S2 is giving uh, their portion of the con op or the uh, uh, five paragraph order, right? What does that S2 talk about? So that, see, every situational question is really just a standard question ca encapsulated in more words. So what you have to do is just understand that and then find the actual words that are being asked of you so that you can answer them up. Man, I hope you enjoyed the content of the video. If you did, smash it, like it, share it, leave some comments down below. We'll keep this conversation rolling, man. Appreciate all you guys, man. Y'all, you stay out there. You keep grinding, and you stay stooped. Mm -hmm.